the homework problem uh, this problem is like let me re just read it a string is wrapped on a several uh, is wrapped several times around the rim of a, a small loop with a radius of this much uh, and mm, this much mass okay and then it's released from rest and then it's in descent this much okay so this problem is more of like your 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 problem because it's just yeah and this tension here creating a torque to make this thing move like this so that not what where we are right now but what we can notice um well, let me just change this view i have eight centimeter eight zero zero centimeters i want to make it two meters multiplied by 100 one two I think it's going to be 0 0.08 meters and this one is in kg it's good this one is in centimeters let's look at it again it's going to be 7.00 centimeters uh two meters it's going to be one two giving me 0 0.7 so i have all my units good now all in meters so i can start thinking of the problem so as this guy release this thing it goes down okay that means before it was just here or it was somewhere here and then it descended to something of they did say 0 0.7 so as it since it was here moving from a let me call this point a and to b this ball lost uh, its potential energy that means at here it had potential energy let me just call it like this and now when it's down here it doesn't have potential energy it's have lost its potential energy to make uh kinetic energy rotary because it is rotating also change it to make kinetic energy transitional right the normal kinetic energy that we know so what are the questions so the possible question that they ask here they say find and we come back here they'll say calculate the angular speed omega right of the loop okay so what i just said now i said the mgh the potential energy that it had was used to create um was used to create rotational kinetic energy and also it was used to create uh just transitional kinetic energy so they want this I'm just going to work to find this because I know a very important conversion factor that says um, V is equals to R omega. So I can just find omega, I mean alpha, I mean velocity and can turn it to rotational velocity or omega. So when you're working with physics, I only advise to not put values at first just work it out to see what it's going to be so what is a uh, moment of inertia for the loop i had to go that check it on google and i got um m r squared and this v squared i know that i can i mean this omega squared i can just here divided by r divided by r it will be v over r so it will be v all over I remember there is a square there. I can put a square here, square here. Okay. Then plus half mv squared. Okay. What do I have now? I can only notice that this is obviously going to disappear. And I'll be left with half mv squared plus half mv squared. So... I have a half mv squared another half mv squared is going to give me a full mv squared and this side remember i've been having potential energy of which is mgh and again i've noticed something common on both sides we don't like that this just go away and i have my v equals to gh all under a root so with this with this what else can i do with this i know that um from here i know that 
Mm. I can I can do something with this. I can or oh, I have this transitional velocity I want rotational. So I can just say it's going to be V all over R. V is this one, so it's going to be uh this G like this and then you get your answer here. So let's try to get the answer. Put a root. What is G? 9.8. The height, I think this height, 0 0.7 all over R. R was given to be 0 0.08. Then you should punch this in your calculator. And on my side, the question says um, 82. Point, I mean, the answer was 32.73 nine five zero blah 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 depending on the significant figures that you you are required to represent so we have got uh, our omega here uh, rotational velocity so the question the next question wanted us to find the um, it's written as let me just it's written as a speed at the scent they want us to find the speed at the scent that's what we started with. This is the answer for that. Uh, is this is the speed at the end. Okay, so we're just going to put uh, use the calculator again to find the speed at the center. And I don't know if I'm going to be. I hope I get accurate. And on my calculator. I just use this formula here. I said V is equals to root G point H. And then I put the G, I put everything. You're going to do it. And I got two, six. Oh, okay. The unit here, I made a mistake. I should have put in the main radian per second. And here it's going to be two, one, nine, oh, one, nine, blah, 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 meters per second. So we've solved the problem. Don't forget to share the problem, uh, share the video, uh, comment, and also tell us if there are topics or maybe even a problem that you want us to work in. Thank you.